but what's up you guys so it's juicy here again and yes tie it on <laughs> this is how i'm coming but i know it's been a minute since i put out any content or whatever but you know i just been lazy like I had so much content in my phone I just deleted it I was like you know I'm gonna just try to start over because I'm trying to rebrand myself rebrand reinvent all these types of things because I'm moving into becoming my own personal businesswoman and it's kind of hard you know especially if you're like somebody like me that's very um I don't know if it's like it's lazy or you doubt yourself or whatever the case might be it's like bruh it's just a whole lot going on so i mean i always second guess my content when i put it out and it shouldn't even be like that because youtube is pretty much it's kind of like a hobby for me in a sense so it's like if i like it why not put it out but it's neither here nor there but anyways i don't know if this is gonna be a talk through get ready with me type of video i'm gonna try to like stay on topic with certain things i didn't write anything down or whatever but I'm going to try to talk through this because I noticed that in like a lot of my videos, it's majority of my videos are time lapse videos. Like, even if I try to talk through them, I don't. I don't know if you guys peep. I have on my my Rolling Loud merch. <laughs> Rolling Loud merch. <laughs> I feel like one of these the trendy the trendy people right now. But yes, um, my boyfriend and I attended Rolling Loud. One of the I feel like I've been to so many concerts before and Rolling Loud was like the concert because it was basically three days. If you don't know what Rolling Loud is, I'm just let me break it down for y'all. So it took place, the one that we went to took place in Miami and it's basically three days worth of concerts and artists and festival food and drinks and, you know... I seen a lot of shit there like a lot of shit going on there um but yeah it happens may 11th through the 13th it was mother's day weekend uh we flew out on the we flew out the day of so we flew out on the friday and we came back on the monday sunday was the last day and um you know we left on monday or whatever all i have to say is if you've never been to rolling loud before you need to just go like you need to go because I feel like now after going to Rolling Loud, I feel like I don't ever want to go to a regular. Let me not say that. Let me, cause I'm I know I'm gonna end up going to another concert again. But experiencing Rolling Loud and then you go to a regular concert like that's indoors in an arena, it's totally different. Like the way how the artists interact with the crowd and the fans and stuff like that is so different. So anyway, that was that. So I went to Rolling Loud. I don't know if you guys also noticed. I definitely, I'm a little bit darker. I just now came back from Aruba. We went and we celebrated my boyfriend's birthday there. I don't know if you guys peeped. Last year, I put up a video. We was in St. Martin. And now, this year, we went to Aruba for his birthday. I have footage of that. And I don't know if I'm going to put it up. Because I feel like I want to keep it to myself. I don't know. Or maybe I feel like the footage isn't good enough. But it was so much fun. We did karaoke out there. We did banana boating. We did zip lining. We went to one of the water parks there. It was it was fun. Okay. So that's like a little update. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Oh, my birthday happened. But that was in January. <laughs> We went to Miami again for that for my birthday. Um, what else is new? Okay, I'm talking a lot, so let me start my my eyebrows because I was supposed to get my eyebrows done today. I did my nails today, toes, and everything, and didn't do my eyebrows because the lady had left right when I went to do it. So yeah, whatever. I'm all over the place. I know that's just my personality. Okay, where's my eyebrow stuff? so um you know something else that i noticed anytime i want to record like talk through videos or whatever i'm always on my period my period's about to come and at this point in time that's when like stuff like this comes on my face or there's like a little pimple here is this 
it's mad annoying. Like, uh, I'm not mad about my period being here, but it's like, bruh. I'm, I'm mad at myself because I always want to record when these things start to happen. Like, when my body is at this time. Like, this is when my, my brain is like, oh, record a video. But anyways, um, alright, so I spoke to y'all about Rolling Loud. Oh my gosh, guys, y'all know how much I love Tory Lanez. Boy done crowd surfed in the crowd when we, where we were standing at. And I lost it. Like, I'm gonna insert videos into this. And that's another thing too. I learned how to insert videos onto uh, these types of videos while I'm speaking. So while I'm talking, the video could is possibly playing right now. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, y'all. I, like, I've been talking about this. Like, me and my boyfriend, I'll be like, yo, honestly, like, Tory Lanez, any, well, he can't walk up. He, he could crowd surf for me. But he can't be working on my lace, though. He can't be working on my lace front. Like, no. <laughs> Yo, he came into the crowd, and the crowd got so crazy. And i never been to a festival like this before, and my dumb ass went, right? Let me let me tell y'all what I had on my feet. I had on sandals. I had on sandals. I'm going to show you a picture, too. It's, like, right here. I had on sandals that day. Because I'm like, oh, this is the J. Cole day. You know, people going to be chill, da, da, da. But I didn't know that Tori... Uzi, all of these people, Uzi Vert. I'm not even gonna get into that, but that's a whole nother video for another time because I'm not even. But yeah, like after Tory Lane's um set, my whole wig was like I was a center part, and after her set, I was a side part. And then I could just add this in about Uzi after Uzi. Oh, my wig was back here, <laughs> it was back there. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was crazy, but. Needless to say, the freaking show was popping um, all three days. I saw Casanova. Um, Y'all know I love Casanova. Well, I haven't mentioned it on here, but I love Casanova. Um, J. Cole was amazing. Freaking 21 Savage had the best set, which is crazy. Like, at first, I lived for Tori, but after 21 Savage Day, it was just like, bruh, bruh. Best day ever. Um, Migos was I. I had fun with that. Um, people, like, you would have to just go on my Instagram to see the ones that I post. Rick Ross, that was nice. Um, yeah. So, ooh. Okay, shower. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, so that was that. Things that I've been seeing lately that's... I never really expressed to anybody, but I mean, more than likely I've expressed it to someone, but I'll just put it in a video. So, you know, if anything, we can have a conversation in the comments. So social media, we all know it's a thing now. It is what it is. I don't think it's ever going anywhere. It's going to be what it is. Things that get on my nerves, because these types of videos usually go forth, forth. Um. I'm not like okay I'm not here to bash anybody for their decisions or whatever the case might be but now the whole plastic surgery thing plastic surgery cosmetic surgery I might even call it plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery stuff you know it is what it is people get their money they do what they want with their money or whatever what I'm not understanding is when I'm seeing certain individuals you're getting your bodies done and you're still photoshopping your pictures what, what are we doing what are we doing why are we doing this and who told like why why is this a thing like what whatever happened to just you know adding a little saturation or a little contrast here or there to your photo and posting and going about your business Y'all out here doing some extra ass shit. Like, y'all getting surgery done already. Like, literally going under the knife and still photoshopping y'all pictures to this quote-unquote perfect body or whatever. And I just don't understand it. I'm not understanding it. And you know something? At this point in time, like, you know me, like, I'm a, I'm a thick girl or whatever the case might be. I've always been. I've never been a part of a skinny crew. I've always been the bigger girl in the group. Or I've always been, like, or maybe, I don't know if I've been the bigger girl, but I've always had meat on my body. I've never been, like, skinny or slim or any of that shit. So, you know, 
I feel like now because of social media, it's like a certain type type of pressure on people in general. People, but I'm just mainly going to talk about women because obviously I'm a woman and that's what I'm going to relate to. And it's like I feel like there's a certain kind of standard a certain type of standard and beauty or beauty that women have to uphold to. And I find that kind of ridiculous because it's like, yo, these people don't even look like these people. Like, <laughs> they don't even look like themselves. They still Photoshop their shit. You get your body done and you still Photoshop yourself. So, when are you going to be satisfied? Like, the f what's in the phone is not real. So, would you? are you ever going to feel okay with yourself? Are you really ever going to feel okay with yourself? I don't understand that shit. And then another thing too was so sad is because, you know, I'm I'm in my later part of my 20s now. I'm now 27. And I feel that young girls and young women nowadays, they aren't... I'm wondering if I'm looking casket ready. <laughs> whatever it'll oxidize but yeah young girls young girls now they don't have the opportunity to you know go through certain shit i feel like i feel like they have to instantly like these young girls now bundle hair and oh makeup and high lash and this that and blah blah and it's like why are you worried about that like I, I came across this young girl on Inst um not Instagram on YouTube not too long ago probably like last week I'm not gonna put her name out there or whatever shorty's 15 right and when I first clicked on her video I did I thought she was probably I mean she looked young but I thought she was maybe in her like early 20s or whatever and shit right shorty said she's 15 and I'm looking at her like what Show you got in 20, 28, 26 inches of hair and shit like that. Yo, I didn't start wearing them type of hair until I was 25. <laughs> 20 fucking 5. That's when it was like, oh, I bet I'm graduating to bundles now. Oh, shoot, I'm graduating to putting on a little eyelash and blah, blah, blah. That's a whole 10 year gap from where this girl is. And it's like, because of social media, these young kids now, it's just. It's just vanity insanity. Like, literally, no shade to vanity insanity because I actually like really like her channel. But it's literally insanity for vanity. Like, like they're so young. So young. And it's just, oh. Oh, I'm about to, oh, watch. When I turn this age, I'm getting my ass done. Oh, when I turn this age, I'm getting my boobs done. Da -da -da -da. It's like, yo, your body is not even fully developed yet. And you really out here ready to risk it all for cosmetic surgery because you feel like i don't know if you feel like you're not good enough or you just you genuinely want it but it's like bro like you're not even developed yet like what's up what, what, what what's up instagram really got you feeling like yo i have to have if i don't have this i ain't gonna get that that shit is crazy so that's one thing I wanted to touch on. And I just find it mad sad because it's like, mm, I just be looking at kids now. And it's just, they just not the same no more. Like, kids just be in their phones. You know, anytime I go back to my old neighborhood in Brooklyn and stuff like that, I pass over there to the block, be mad quiet. Like, I mean, I see some kids out. But I remember, like, when we used to be on the block and shit, it was literally mad kids like it was mad enough of us right and we actually used to like oh ride our bikes and play double dutch and you know we used to have so much fun like just walking to the store to get a fucking to get a hero sandwich or some shit like it was literally like our summer was literally us outside or going to the park to go to the pool or you know what i'm saying freaking 
turning on somebody's toes, acting like we water in the grass, but we really just freaking wetting each other up outside. Like, shit like that. I don't be seeing kids doing that no more. I don't see kids doing that anymore. Because all they're doing is posting videos on Instagram. I'm not saying, oh, like, we don't do that too and old times have changed or whatever. But it's like, damn, like, y'all don't even know how to, do y'all know how to play double dutch? Do y'all want to battle? Like, do you know about Zero Zero and the Zing Zing? Do you know about them? Like, <laughs> like, what's up? Like, y'all really out here just force swiping y'all selves force swiping i be seeing girls putting up stuff on instagram and i could tell these are young pages they put in up pages oh or they asking people like you know when people do them ask me um youtube videos and stuff um dear so and so can you do a video on how to make a boy like you um could you do a video on how to dress like dress like an instagram model so i could get this boy to like like it's literally everything is motivated around men what i'm noticing with the the young girls in this generation and it's so sad like whether it be their self-esteem or how they look about themselves how they take care of themselves you know, it's like, what's going on? What's really going on? It's like social media has, it's a gift and a curse. It's really a gift and a curse. And there's someone that I follow on here now. Like, I started following her a while ago. But I just recently started, like, commenting on her content and shit. Because, you know, I, I really be feeling what she's saying. And she's a young girl, too. Like, she's younger than me. I think she's about 22, 23. Her name is live with leah show on here and she is definitely somebody that's i don't want to say grown before their time but she's wise beyond her years because the way she speaks she speaks of someone that has been through things and she really has it but she has common sense like she's developed this common sense this way of thinking this vibration of thinking and she's not a follower she's not a follower and you know, I don't understand, like, what is really going on with, like, the youth now. A lot of their parents are younger, you know, like, they their parents had them at a younger age or if it's literally just the social media thing. But back to the whole, live, like, Live With Leah thing, you know, she brought up a valid point. Like, sometimes you really got to take breaks from social media because if you don't, psychologically you're going to get drawn into that the freaking nonsense that's taking place on this shit like yo every day is something every day oh like the way how people talk to their spouses the way how people talk about their spouses the way how people talk about the opposite gender it's like every day it's oh it's a battle of the sexes every day somebody putting somebody down every day it's like yo are y'all ever gonna chill like are y'all ever going to chill like <laughs> i'm i'm really confused like every single day is something like oh oh yeah well this one was in my dm and this one was da 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 and oh well it's alright though. I don't even want him. I just want to sit on his face and and it be young little kids talking like this, little ass kids talking like this, and I'm just here like, I'm scared. Like I am very frightened right now. I am very fearful for my life because <laughs> if this is who's supposed to be <laughs> the people of the future, okay. I'll sit this one out. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? Boy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. But back on the social media thing, too. Like, the social media breaks. I feel like it is very imperative that everyone take, them on, take some time to themselves and say, you know what? I'm going to take a little break because... There be a lot of fuck shit and fuckery going on on these platforms and 
if you don't take yourself away from it, like literally be on some out of sight, out of mind shit, you really start to, you, first of all, you want to notice that you're very, very unproductive, very unproductive. If you ever notice how much time you take to sit down and actually scroll on Instagram and you realize you've been in the same spot for mad long and you literally just keep refreshing your feed just to see if somebody put something up recently yeah that's that's when you know you need to start taking a break that's one thing and i ain't even trying to throw no shots at nobody because my ass is guilty of doing that shit too you feel me so it's that then it's like like i said the constant oh talking about the genders and oh niggas ain't shit bitches ain't shit oh well he did this and she did that and it's like nobody has any type of accountability for anything that they've done nothing nothing at all there's absolutely no accountability for anything and it's like what's up then then you got people joining on the cams because they feel like they could relate to your situation but nobody everybody that's feeling like they could relate nobody's realizing where they was wrong with the situation so it's like it just be so much nonsense going on so much nonsense and i, I just cannot so you know it it sucks like right now like i said i'm trying to rebrand myself trying to do this whole business shit or whatever the case might be and i know i'm going to have to use like social media to obviously get myself out there and you know market and stuff like that but it's just i guess it's just a way to do it like you can't put out too much and can't put out too little so that's where i'm at with that i hope i made sense with this i don't know i'm trying not to have to cut down anything i want this video to be a little bit raw and so y'all could see this process i'm doing my makeup because i'm actually gonna um i'm trying to be a little different you know all those spicy spicy a little spicy a little dang um okay i'm gonna be trying on a little pink wig thick ass give them with flash down okay you know but i'm really gonna try a pink wig <laughs> i'm really gonna try on like a pink wig that i bought out in brooklyn one of the times i was there i'm always there so it's like it's like my second home you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying but anyway yeah i'm gonna be doing a little pink wig try on and you know i want to just do my little makeup for it for the video but i said let me come on here and do something a little different let me do a little talking through I, yo i haven't done my makeup in so long i mean I have done it but I mean like on camera and and I just be doing the bare minimum because you know I could slay when I'm ready but right now I'm gonna do the bare minimum plus my skin isn't matching my foundation so I'm not sure if I'm like casket ready right now or not but for right now it's looking like I'm gonna try to clean it up oh my gosh girl you ain't even finished blending this out because you did chatting about pink with thick ass Um, I feel like I need new products. Like, I've been using these products for mad long. Pretty sure those of you that actually have watched my videos or, you know, after this, you probably will. <laughs> You'll see that I use the same shit for mad long. But, I don't know. Or maybe it's the way I'm applying it. I don't know. I'll be critiquing myself OD and then after, when I look at my makeup after, it's like, oh, you look fine. But... And I also don't use a lot of products, so maybe that's another thing. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure what else I want to talk about on here. I don't know. For my eyes, this is going to be something basic as hell. Ain't nobody got time for all of that. Ain't nobody got time. I'm just going to put a little wash of color. Like this. Um... I don't know what else I wanted to talk about. Oh, let's talk about the little business and stuff like that. So, 
first I'm just going to start it off and say if you would like a lace closure wig created by me if you follow me on Instagram you've been seeing that I rock I rock wigs I rock lace wigs because I'm on my healthy hair journey and I like to preserve my hair under here I have straight backs they look a little meek millish right now so that's why it's not out but yeah <laughs> The cost of my wigs are $90 and what you would do is you would order your hair from whatever vendor you decide before you <laughs> purchase from me. But yeah, order from whichever vendor you decide. I will construct your wig on a adjustable adjust <laughs> an adjustable strap stocking cap and I will construct your lace wig for you and I will ship it back to you. You pay a 25% deposit or you can just pay in full. I'll create the wig for you and I ship it back to you. Usually the wig gets to you within 3 to 5 days depending on where you live. I don't ship international. But now I do them thing there. And um, <laughs> let me stop. If you do want to, I mean you could send the extra money for it. I'll just tell you how much it costs and then we could go from there. But yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. I... I had a couple of clients and stuff like that. I never really took their pictures or anything. I just posted like one of my clients' pictures on my Instagram. Um, yeah, I don't really take pictures and I have to stop doing that now because you know, in order to promote, I gotta come up a hair boy, it's just you and me. Now we'll be buying it feels like ecstasy. I'm gonna love you till the end of time. <laughs> look for my face that I'm gonna have on with my my wig I guess I could show you guys in this video so you can check out the next video that's gonna come up after this one so basically I'm going to be trying the features equal the luxury integration lace front deep invisible part wig and this is it it's in the bag still and this is the color and I will be trying it on in the next video so if you guys want to see how this looks how I you know what's the word how I customize it and everything stay tuned for the next video thank you guys for watching so much you can follow me on Instagram my page is now public it's at hello juicy I'm gonna put it across the screen either here or somewhere over there somewhere and um 
yeah you guys can follow me like i said i make lace wigs everything will be on the screen okay so it'll be on the screen it'll be in the description box thank you guys for watching and you know comment like subscribe and yeah be on the lookout for new jewels Okay, that would be a nice little, well, that's not for this video, but, okay, alright, bye. <laughs>